Hello, this is Kelly from Root Pursuit. And today we're gonna make these fun little, uh, I don't know. <laughs> They're little charm frames, basically. And I had punched some eyelets in there already. So these are kind of ready to, to be decorated. And I just inked around the edges. And then we're also going to make some little charms for the side of them. And I'll just show you kind of what I've got going on here. These are the three I have right now. I have a lot of different varieties. This one had a cool uh, number stamped on it already on the back. So kind of like that side a little bit better. But uh, for this one, I think I'll do, I'll probably do this side for all of these. I'm thinking. You can turn them both ways, so you can do them, you know, this way or that way, or however. And you can also make these by, if you have a, a square punch or a regular rectangle punch, just take a couple layers of like some cardstock paper and uh, glue them together. Yeah, we can do it. We can, we can make these. I do have these for sale in my Etsy shop if you're interested in those. But, I, and I have some number stamps so we can do that. I did get a, a crocodile. I, I know it's crazy, but I, I got a gift certificate to Hobby Lobby and I decided to splurge and, and uh, check it out. So what do I have here? C3. Yep. So I got it all on the right, right settings. And then I have to choose. This says College DePaul. These were my grandpa's slides, so that was actually my, I'm just going to punch the holes first. That was where my dad went to college, and that's in Indiana. And I think I'll do, I'll do this side, oops, on this side, and this one, and maybe I'll do one sideways. So, must have been pictures. I really only, my my grandpa was a photographer. Um, he did own his own photography business for a while, but oh, you're, you're not done with that yet. Okay, so, oh, I don't know if I want to, one of these I'm going to leave, I think, and do the eyelet last. I forgot about that. Uh, let me do two eyelets. Yeah, so he went to I really like the black on these. It's kind of surprising, but maybe I'll try a nickel, brush nickel. I haven't done that on any of them. Yeah, that looks that looks good. Brush nickel. All right, now I'll put this in here. I'm never very confident that I'm in the right spot, but I haven't had one where it wasn't in the right spot, so that's good news. <laughs> And that one is a little squished, but that's okay. Okay, which one? Um, well, I, I don't think I'm going to cover that up because I'll just leave it. I like the black. Let's go to the black. Dun, dun, dun. And I can't do the eyelet. These are really small ones. Ooh, that one turned out nice. It's very thick, so... The back turns out a little nicer when the paper's thicker. So that's interesting. All right, I'm gonna whoop, just put those away for now. Because I mostly want these to be really grungy, I guess. Okay, I'm gonna use the walnut stain. I'm gonna use this dauber. Uh, I really liked the darker effect on it. And we'll see how this this looks. Even black ink would look kind of cool with this sort of grungy, grungy look. Yeah, so if you want to do that. You can also go the pretty route, but one of these I might just do that. But uh, I'm thinking about doing a little floral washi on one of these. But mostly I just have like the... the, the stamped numbers where it says number 
4,322, that sort of thing. Okay, so there's that one. Yeah, so I was saying about my grandpa. So he did, he had a photography business for a while, not not like a long time or anything, but a few a few years, I think he did, maybe five years or something like that. Well, anyway, he had he always did a lot of like side businesses. He was that kind of guy. So a little bit like me. And <laughs> and he uh yeah, so he did that for a while, but man, that guy took pictures of so many cows. I I don't even know how or why. Maybe he got paid to take Oh, I did that on No, that is the right side. Okay. Maybe he got paid to take pictures of cows. I don't know, but <laughs> it's kind of funny to me. All right. Oh, I don't know. I love that number. Maybe I should just use pieces. Like like scraps of it. Where's my glue? I'll use this glue. Oh, there it is. You know, I kind of like using the glue stick. Where's my uhu? I know. It's I have like no I've misplaced like four of them. And they're like open somewhere. Yeah, they're so tiny, but they're bright yellow. You'd think I wouldn't lose them, but oh okay, that's good. I'm gonna leave it like that. Turns out I was thinking of covering the whole border, but now that I see this, I'm really into it. So we're going to leave that like that. And when it's glued down, extra good. So that's fine and dandy. So we got that going on. Now I can get rid of this. Keep that. And I need an eyelet. All right. Well, I have a blue one. Let's go blue. That was the, ooh, got to get that little corner down. Well, this, I mean, it's not the same blue, but that's okay. We're just going to do it. There we go. Cool. And I never thought I would buy one of those. You don't really need one. I mean, I've been junk journaling for like two years, and that's the first time I ever had one. So before I use my silent setter, that's a good place to start uh, with, with them. There. It looks like this you don't want the big bite but uh this one works pretty good the silent setter and okay now i've got stamps so i've got all my my number stamps but i'm going to set them aside because i've i've put ones on my acrylic and this says number five i can do a small one let's do number five just right on the corner here let's see how it looks oh that looks great just like that and we could do I have this little stamp it's got a really nice miniature design on it and I'm thinking I would like it to go right on there like that oh that looks cool oh I like it um I need a little more in there Hold on, hold on, like you're gonna go anywhere. There we go, yeah, I like that. That looks super good, super good. So then then you, if you want later, you can attach a little image to the back of there. I'm not really interested in doing that too much today. So, all right, let's see what else we've got. I've got like a really big number, is this too big? No, no, I think it's all good. So we're going right across the center. I keep thinking this is like the wrong, it's not the front. But I told myself I was going to put some on the right side, that they all shouldn't be on the left. <laughs> what else does that need? I don't know. Um, Maybe a little torn tiny piece of book page or something. Or a word. I could use a word. I need like a grungy word. And I do have, like this says, why yes. That's kind of fun. Not that. Link. Um, actually, I used this last video. Head of Cronus. 
Um, let's just try it and see how it looks. Okay. Uh, I, I think that's a winner. Absolutely. I'm quite fond of this, uh, this stamp right here, but we could do something different. Uh, we could do a washi tape tiny. I've got some tiny washi tape borders. Like there's this stripe or yeah, I would call that a diagonal stripe. We could try that. It's very white. I don't know if it's going to be like see-through. Let's see. We'll see. Maybe it'll work out. Oh, yeah. I'm going to do one on the other side. Okay. There we go. That looks pretty good. I think it's cute. They're so cute. Oh man, that looks fantastic. I forgot, this goes this way. <laughs> Hello. I, now I have to put a new number in the right direction. <laughs> How about this one? Let's try that. Oh, it's upside down. How do I want to do this? Oh, that was right. Uh, I'll figure it out. Maybe number. There we go. It's a little wonky. Gotta straighten it. Okay. Uh, all right. Here we go. Ooh. Ah, those look good. Okay. Very good. Very nice. Okay, I do, I do like the washi tape there. I could use some, I could just glue some book page on, but now I got some washi tape ideas. There was one, oh yes, I had like a bird that I had my eye set on. Set you aside. I like this bird. Will you fit? Are you too big? Might be too big. Wow. Well, that's kind of surprising. Yes, these are pretty small. There we go. We'll just add a little ink to the edge of that. Blender right in. Can you see that? Okay. That is cute. Okay, now it does say that on it. I'm gonna try this number right over here. Good, good stuff. And I could go again for another one of these. Kinda, I don't know what that is. Wood grain, I'm not sure. I bet all of these will look cool. We could do this orange business. I'm not crazy about orange, but this pattern is really neat. Put it on there temporarily. See how I like it. Yeah, it, it looks good. So we'll glue it down. We're keeping it. I could try something different on the other side. Maybe a stripe? Something? How about this? You know what you could do? Ooh, I've got an idea. We could do like mark making. Let's try that. Oh, this is very tiny. Oh boy, you can't even see that. 
but they're gonna look cool. They're just little X's. I can't. Let me let me just swoop. Okay. Little tiny X's. They might still be too small to see. Okay, how do I want this? I want to go up higher. How's that look? It's very tiny, but it's cool. I really do like this one a lot. And this one is good too. And we still have all of these to decorate if I wanted to. I already have a number on there, so I could do something like floral. I'm gonna try this one. It's got like this cool scroll work, and I think it's gonna blend in on the bottom really nice. We'll see, maybe it won't. I'll put it down first and then see what see how I feel about it. Mm, I like it. Okay, we'll we'll keep it. I think what I'm gonna have to do though is is uh, ink it a little bit, blend it in. Okay, I can't get the. <laughs> it's a disaster. No, it's not. It's, it's not a disaster. We're just crafting. That's no disaster. Okay. Um. Now, we'll just try to blend along the edge there. Smear it around. Da, da, da. All right, we're going to need some, some, I think, stamp is what I want. I'm going to try to ink that middle part. We'll see how that goes. I'm going to kind of rub off that part, see if I can aim this. Ooh, just exactly how I want it. Winner. Okay, I'm rubbing that off again. I just want that part. Yeah, my aim wasn't as good on that one, but that's okay. And I don't have to rub it off. Right there. Ooh. Okay. There we go. A little frillier. Just very frilly. So we've got lots of different styles. Okay, now let's uh let's do something different. Oh, I want to use this on something. Yeah, this this right here looks cool. I'm gonna try it. Like a little scroll. I think would look neat on the bottom. Oh, very cool. Yeah, I like that. Neat. Neat, neat. Okay, uh, let's do. I'm just gonna do a stamp while I got it out. I want this one right here. There we go. I like it. Okay. So let's do some charms. All right. So I went to the store, the thrift store, and they had a bunch of necklaces. And I really liked this one with these like really interesting old beads. There's like it's like pink marbling, but it's like yellowed. I kind of love them. All right. Well, anyway, uh, <clears throat> anyway, I thought I could just take that one apart. This one, same thing. I believe it will work. Yeah, it's just string on strings. But these are really neat beads. So I think I would probably, these look like dirty. So I would probably soak these in like a... Uh, vinegar, vinegar baking soda kind of situation. They're shells, so they should be fine. These beads are really neat too. The green pearls are just okay, but and then 
first. This is the one I thought I could make charms out of because this one has the little, like, uh, it's all wired together. So I figure I can just take chunks of it. And so I'm going to give that a go because they're all like little ring connectors. So this one, I'm going to get out my... No, 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 no. Yeah, that happens sometimes. I'm going to use... Should, am I going to use a safety pin? Well, I've got silver, so... I don't know. So I could either use the black bulb pin, gold bulb pin, or a silver safety pin. I'm going to try a silver on this one. So I'm just going to slip that safety pin through there, and then I'm going to roll that back together, seal it up, and sealed. And then I think I'll take this one apart. Just a little, there we go. And then I'll have a little charm dangle hanging from there. Oh, this one I'm not attaching anything. I'm just sealing it right up. I probably didn't need to make it this long. I could use a smaller bit of it. I probably will on the next one. But they're very pretty. There we go. And it, it doesn't, it just has to be sealed. It doesn't have to be too precise. Okay, so I've got this kind of color. I like the bird on this one. Can you still see okay? Okay. <laughs> so, kind of like that, maybe? Safety pin. There we go. Look at how cute that is. Oh my goodness. Those are amazing. Okay, let's do another one. So this one, I think I'll just do like, maybe like three. Like that. Oh, that'll go with this one. And now that I've got this point, I, all I have to do is the one end, like that. Oh, wait. Oh, that's a scissor. <laughs> watching that noise. Oh my gosh. Got the wrong tool. It kind of worked. Oh, so then I'm like, ah, those are my scissors. <laughs> That one's done. I suppose I could have attached something to that. What do I want to do? I think the bulb pin just works better because it, it, it wraps around there a little bit better. So I'm going to say go with the bulb pin if you can. Safety pins work, but honestly, you can use a paper clip too. There we go. So you'd attach it and it'd be something like like that or like this oh yeah goes like that quit forgetting that okay that is so cute oh my goodness these are adorable all right where's my end so this one is where it all comes together so i'll just use don't grab the scissors again just quit it um i'm just gonna yeah, use two for this one. And then I'll, I'll just leave that open. Find myself a bulb pin, which I think I only have gold ones in here. So we'll just see what I what I end up. Oh, wait, that doesn't matter. I didn't even have to do that. In fact, I'm just going to get rid of it so it doesn't get in the way. All right, bead, get down there again. I keep pushing it up. Okay, we'll try it this way. Squeeze. Squeeze. Now it's turning on me. Just stay put. Okay. That should do it. Now, we'll do it on this pin. And then maybe this side. Oh, 
Okay, that's really cute. Just with the oh, sorry. Just with the two. Sorry, my hand. Otherwise, I have to bend my. There. <laughs> <laughs> I really like these a lot. Okay. Um. I don't know how I'm even spotting these in here. And I don't, I probably took all the black ones out. I need to put more black ones in. Okay, those are out. Now, this end, I kind of like the three, so I'm going to try that again. And I'm going to get smart, and I'm going to just unwrap it a little bit. Although it's a bold pin, so it doesn't have to slide back. But if you if you do have one where you're doing like a safety pin where you need it like put in there before, just slip it in there and then and, and then push it back together. It's faster. Okay, I added a step before. Oh my goodness. Look at how cute that is. It's so cute. All right, now, now we've got this guy. This could look, I would want it this way though. Yeah, that looks cute with the three and the wooden bead and everything. Yep, that's the one. Oh, this one, it looks like I did it. It's a little bendy. <laughs> looks a little bit like some work I did. All right, let's use my little twirly bit and close her back up nicely. There we go. Squeeze together. Get out the bow pin. I'm telling you, these are so cute. They're adorable. They're just adorable. Okay, I, I attached my finger. Sorry about that. Nothing to see here. <laughs> okay look at how cute these are the little dangles on the side oh my I love that necklace isn't that so pretty look at that that is so pretty I love that that style and colors and everything it's beautiful all right let's just see because it's fun I don't have any fabric in this but generally I'm thinking what I would do is attach a piece of lace um, to the top maybe of a page and then I could just pin that right to it or I could put a little piece of lace right here and then pin this so that oh you can't see that sorry mm. so I put a little little lace and then pin it and then that little thing might just frame the butterfly how pretty would that be? Let's just see if there's anything in here. Well, first of all, technically. Oh, how'd I get up there already? Um, which way do you go? Okay, go like this. I could attach it to this paper clip. Just like that. And you could add an image if you wanted to. You didn't you wouldn't have to, but you definitely could. And I wonder, like a two-sided image, and I would just stick it to the back. Like I wouldn't, I wouldn't try to do anything with taking them apart and putting them together. Just so, for instance, I don't know if this. Let's just use this as an example, or like these two. And we'll we'll just use a piece of paper that's slightly bigger than our frame because I don't want it to end up being the wrong size. So just put that there. This one here. And then you could just glue that right to the back. And then that's what the back would look like. I'm just going to do that. Hopefully my glue will be cooperating. 
So I'll glue around that frame. A little bit of art glitter glue or any kind of glue that you need. And it says butterfly rose on there. That fits in there really nicely. And then on the back, it looks like that. Crooked. I'd rather have it be crooked on the back <laughs> than that way. Okay. So then we've got this whole, how did I do this? Okay, like that. <laughs> Nothing to see here. <laughs> Just me throwing stuff around. Okay. That's what that looks like. And this is what the front looks like. And this is how we flip the beads. Oh, somehow I got the beads discombobulated. Oh, well. <laughs> okay, I'm going to have to do Oh, no. Okay. I don't know how I did that, but... Okay. I don't think it was that way before. Maybe it was. It might have been. I just want to put the big, bigger bead on the bottom. That just, it just looks better to me. Okay, so then I go through there, and then I go through here, and then I attach it. There we go. How fun is that? I'll just scoot out now a little bit. Scoot. There you go. How cute. I really like that. And then some of the other ones. That's not one. This is one. You know, and you could go even more grungy if you wanted to. So there's that one. There's this one. This one. Oh, this is sort of a half finished one. Just a little more plainer. This one had the safety pin on it with the really long little jewel bit on there. So yeah, all right. Well, those are super cute. This goes up here. I'm gonna put my toys away, making messes. Okay, all right. Well, I hope you like this project. Uh, like I said, if you're interested in the slide frames, I have. Oh my gosh, thousands of them. So I figured I'd just put them for sale on Etsy. And uh, so they're in my Etsy shop. The link is in the description. And I believe it's in the embellishment section. So if you, you want to look in that section. All right. Well, as always, thanks for coming along. And we'll talk to you later.